Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. I've got big news to share with you. Coinbase is going live, going public on April 14th. It has been confirmed and I'm expecting the market to pump, guys. We're going to see new all-time highs. Also, we got some big updates on Morgan Stanley and the moves they're making in crypto. JP Morgan is looking at a $130,000 Bitcoin price as a top for this bull market. And we got some additional crypto adoption news. So guys, we're going to break it down before we do go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Guys, friendly reminder, I have a free weekly newsletter. Once again, free, you don't have to pay anything, you just sign up, no spam, all crypto knowledge and insights, link in the description. Let's take a look at the market here. Bitcoin over $59,000, but look at Ethereum. My goodness, $2,101.42, up uh, around 27% from a 24-hour perspective. I'm so happy I have Ethereum in my portfolio. This is why I diversify. It increases my chances of making more money. So uh, I'm happy for all of you who are holding uh, Ethereum, guys. And we are going to see new all-time highs for Ethereum in this bull run cycle, of course. And you guys may have seen my videos I've done, I think, Ethereum could hit $10,000 easily. And we're only 8,000, uh, well, I should say, we are, what What are we, $7,900 away from that? And you think about it, when Bitcoin goes up, guys, it moves the altcoins. The data states this. It doesn't matter how you feel about Bitcoin, if you love it or hate it, but the fact of the matter is, the reality of the situation is that all coins move at Bitcoin. And Bitcoin we see is breaking upwards here, but um, still building some support levels. We're looking for $75,000 as, as the next target. But if you want more proof, more data as to Bitcoin's growth, check this from Plan B. There's a new dot added to the stock to flow model, which is in the orange phase right now, which is of course an indication of how the price is moving higher and the monthly closeout. So take a look at this. In September of 2020, the close was just over $10,000. In October, $13,000. In November, uh, just over $19,000. In December, over $28,000. In January, over $33,000. In February, the close was over $45,000. And in March, the close is over $58,000. This is why patience is so important, guys. It's so important. And what we're seeing macro level is that over the last two quarters, $7 billion went into Bitcoin funds and $20 billion left gold exchange traded funds. Bitcoin is becoming the digital gold, gold 2.0, and people are moving their money into Bitcoin and crypto. So this is pretty apparent. We're seeing everybody, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, BlackRock, all of these folks are doing it. And what's going to be big, guys, what I'm bullish and excited about, because I know Coinbase is not going to be doing an IPO when the market is down. They're going to be doing it when the market is pumping to new all-time highs. So Coinbase's direct listing on NASDAQ plan for April 14th. So this month, and uh, I think we're going to see a breakout. I think we're going to see a lot of buzz, a lot of awareness, a lot of talk about crypto. And this is going to be a bridge built between the traditional financial world and crypto, guys. It's going to put crypto even more on the map here, and we're going to see more people coming in. So I am planning, and this is not financial or investment advice, I am planning to buy some Coinbase stock because remember something you need to keep in mind here. And it's the same thing with Tesla stock, which I've taken, a, 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 excuse me, I've invested in it as well. If you're holding Bitcoin on your balance sheet, and if value of Bitcoin is going up, right? That means the value of your company, your, your, your reserves are going up. So you, if you time it right, and then once again, not financial or investment advice, if Bitcoin is going to $100,000 plus, I think these stocks are going to go as well because they have Bitcoin on their balance sheet. Same thing with MicroStrategy, by the way. So that's what I'm playing, the game I'm playing there. I hope it makes sense to you guys and you understand what's happening here. And of course, an exchange, which is custodying uh, millions, possibly billions in crypto and offers crypto trading, I see the, the, the upside being very high here. That's my thought process. Um, once again, I'm not telling you to invest in Coinbase. That is not what I'm saying. You do your own research. I'm just letting you know what I'm doing as far as uh, my research and so on and so forth. So I will be, um, of course, taking part of this. So guys, I'm expecting the market to pump. 
uh, as a result, and you, you know you know what's going to come out of this, right? This is going to be big. Now, the other big news, Morgan Stanley approves Bitcoin exposure for a handful of mutual funds. The mega bank is positioning itself to take an effective role across the Bitcoin markets. It's game on, my friends. It's game on. Goldman Sachs, BlackRock, JP Morgan, um, all these big players, Gold, uh, uh, Morgan Stanley, all these Citibank, all these guys are jumping in. And this started with Paul Tudor Jones last year. And now we're seeing just the floodgates. The herd is coming in now. So Morgan Stanley is giving a handful of its mutual funds the ability to invest indirectly in Bitcoin through cash settle futures, contracts, and Grayscale's Bitcoin trusts. It's a big adoption there for Grayscale. And by the way, I'm in contact with the folks at Grayscale to interview their CEO, waiting to get that on the calendar. According to Thursday's regulatory filings, certain funds now have the go-ahead to seek exposure to Bitcoin indirectly. The initial rollout uh, features five Morgan Stanley Fund families, Institutional Fund, Institutional Fund Trust, Europe Opportunity Fund, Insight Fund, and Variable Insurance Fund. Wow, guys. <laughs> This is so bullish, man. These guys are jumping in. And, you know, it's it's a crawl, walk, run situation. You know, they're going to slowly ease into it, then ramp up. And then we're going to see a lot of money pumping pumping into it. But once again, game theory. I've been talking about it forever. Uh, if you have Goldman Sachs or one of these guys just say they're taking a position, you know the others are not going to sit by idly and watch that happen, right? If you understand business, you understand economics, it's going to happen. So when you have the whale of the whales, the mega banks here, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, you know a lot of money is going to be coming into this market. Once again, patience is so important. Speaking of whales, JP Morgan adjusts its Bitcoin target to $130,000, predicting strong institutional adoption. And clearly, we're seeing that institutional adoption. Now, I, I I don't trust JP Morgan, right? You know, I don't take their word for what they have to say. We saw what Jamie Dimon did. So don't follow them, uh, you know, necessarily with their price predictions. I would rather look at things like the stock to flow model and act the actual charts of what's happening. And of course, uh, keep an eye on the Bitcoin RSI, the relative, relative strength index and things along those lines. Um, don't take advice from JP Morgan. Sure, we watch what they do, not what they say. And we've been seeing they've been offering banking services to crypto exchanges, uh, putting out reports and all that, and, and obviously taking a position. So interesting to see their price prediction here. And I don't think they're far off. But once again, I don't want to take JP Morgan's word. I want to do my own research, right? Now, this is big, guys. Talk about adoption. In MLB First, Major League Baseball, Oakland A's sell a private suite for one Bitcoin. That's big. A's president, Dave Cavill, previously said the Bitcoin team would hodl the Bitcoin received from sales and not convert it to, into fiat. We saw Tesla say this. They're not looking to, to get this off their books because they see the value appreciating over time because it's hard money, it's cap, there's a scarcity aspect, right? And when you have the likes of Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley jumping in, why would you want to sell that asset, right? You want to hold on to it. And sure, you want to uh, have a balance. You don't want everything in Bitcoin. You want to have your cash because you need cash for liquidity and working capital. But you want to hold on to that Bitcoin. And that's, I think, why, once again, I'm investing in stocks of companies that are holding Bitcoin because as Bitcoin goes up in the bull market, the value of those stocks and companies will go up. Now, now, I, I, there is a time that you want to be selling. You don't want to be buying at the top and you don't want to go into the bear market. So I will be selling some of those stocks when we are near the top of the market. So this is why I follow uh, macro level charts like the stock to flow model so I can get an idea of the pulse of the market, right guys? And this is why I share these charts with you so you understand it too. It's not my opinion, it's the data. Where are we at? The, the, the four year halving cycle is playing out again. Now, uh, big news for Canadians. My Canadian viewers and listeners, you guys are lucky. Uh, the US is lagging behind, but Canadian securities regulators clarify framework for crypto platforms. This is great. And in Canada, you guys got your big Bitcoin ETF already. Uh, we're still waiting for one here, but I think one will be approved this year because everybody, all the mega banks has th have thrown their hats in the ring like Goldman Sachs and, and these other folks. So in a new notice published March 29th, the Canadian Securities Administration Administrator CSA and the Investment uh, Industry Regulatory Organization of Canada explored how existing regulation can be tailored to crypto innovation. 
Uh, are you listening, SEC? Are you listening, U.S. Congress and, and, and uh, regulators? Come on, man. Including interim approaches for crypto marketplaces and dealers. So they're doing their thing. You know, even Brazil, I think, got a Bitcoin ETF recently. And the U.S. can can get its its own self out of the way here. Um, I, I'm so disappointed, but I'm hoping the likes of Gary Gensler coming in, the Token Taxonomy Act, and all these bills being put forth, will something will happen this year? I'm hoping because of you know, look, game theory. Countries, no country wants to fall behind. If Canada is making their move, and Europe and all these other countries, right, are doing their thing, well, uh, it could put pressure on the U.S. to see like, hey, okay. We're looking like idiots here because we're not doing anything and these countries are moving ahead of us. That's my hope. Let's see what happens. But congrats to my Canadian uh, friends. Finally, guys, NFTs, obviously going to be huge. This is the future. It may it may have its bugs. There's over overvaluations right now with some of these NFTs, but it's the future. We're headed to the digital and token economy and everybody's going to have smartphones. Obviously, the, the younger generation this is their world is it's almost digital to a certain degree, right? So NFTs are going to be a big part of that. Well, NFT marketplace OpenSea to add Ethereum layer 2 protocol for gas free trading. This is big. The NFT site says it will use immutable X to kill the trading fees that have shocked newcomers. Yeah, because the Ethereum gas fees are ridiculous. And I know I opened the video talking about Ethereum pumping and I have it in my portfolio, but I, I'm I'm not emotionally attached to my investments, and I can say, you know, Vitalik, what the hell? Like, fix this, right? Now, don't get me wrong. I look at things uh, holistically. I do believe the pros of Ethereum outweigh its cons, but this is a big con that they need to fix, right? But this is great. This would open up more adoption of, of NFTs and uh, remove these ridiculous gas fees, guys. So the marketplace says it will be adding support for trading via de decentralized protocol Immutable X. OpenSea said Wednesday the technology will provide instant trade confirmation, increased scalability, and zero gas fees. Integrating Immutable X enables us to offer users a gas-free trading experience without sacrificing the security of the Ethereum network, said OpenSea head of product Nate Chastain. Uh, we're rolling this out for future game developers and players on OpenSea who will benefit from this scaling solution. I'm so happy they found a solution here because it was getting ridiculous. Like, I want to create my own, own NFT, but I don't want to pay these stupid gas fees. It's just ridiculous, right? So really great to see this is happening and uh, uh, some solution is here. I think there's other more scalable and, and better blockchains to build on but um you know it will come in time it'll come in time so i can't wait for the flare network to go live um i think there was talks of uh, nfts on the chain link blockchain as well and uh, and i think polka dot and i'm hoping these other blockchains get integrated as well so guys what do you think about this news are you in agreement with me i think the market's going to pump with this coinbase ipo i don't think Coinbase is going to essentially launch an IPO in a market that's tanking or in a, you know, obviously we're in a bull market, but where the price is not good. And and if even if they do it where the price is moving sideways, I think as soon as they list and the hype, we're going to see the market pump. So I am expecting new all-time highs this month. Book it. If I'm wrong, you can call me out, but I'm expecting new all-time highs. I, we could probably see Bitcoin in the high 60s by the time this happens. Ethereum probably near $3,000. So get ready. Be prepared. As always, have a plan. Know what you're doing. If you're cashing out, you're lending, whatever you're doing. Um, you guys may have seen my video from four months ago where I talked about my cash out plan. So guys, share this video. Hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I got interviews coming for you guys next week. I'll be interviewing Sunny Lou, VeChain CEO, and many others. You don't want to miss that. So uh, share this video as well, and I'll talk to you all later.